Hello friends, do you think you reward your child either too much or too less? How to figure out what is the reward system or the reinforcement system for a child and how to implement it? How do you differentiate between rewarding a child and bribing a child? If the child knows, okay, my father or my mother said, if I behave nicely in a social setting, if I greet everyone, or if I finish my homework properly, I'm going to get a chocolate at the end or some favorite food item like noodles in the end. Every day that I finish my homework, it turns into a bribe. If this is not reward, then what is? Reward system is essentially when you define what behaviors are okay for the child to do and what is which they have to avoid. So for example, they should try to finish their classwork, do their homework, try not to fight with other kids, try not to snatch things from others and maybe finish their lunch and bring an empty box at home. So you know the specific behaviors that were defined for them. They know they have to keep them in mind and you decide when to give them either a star or a token. So maybe if they finish both classwork and homework, then you give them one star, but then you can make it unpredictable for after how many stars they can replace it with a tangible item. It is very important that the child gets used to social rewards, social reinforcements. So being told, well done, you did very well in front of a number of people, getting them clapped, or if they get a star from you, they try to show it to everyone and everybody appreciates it, automatically becomes a reward for the child. Initially, when you're introducing an activity to a child that the child does not take much interest in, most common complaint, my child does not want to write. So the day that they initiate it, they get a reinforcement. Every time that they show interest in writing or they initiate that writing activity, it's not important that you instructed them even if they initiated it on their own. Maybe they randomly saw something written somewhere and tried to copy it and came and showed it to you. Wow, you wrote it on your own. That's excellent. And you get a star for this. So reward every attempt of that activity especially when the child is initiating and you see that the child does not take much interest in this once it becomes a more consistent behavior with them then you can try to convert it into an intermittent pattern of reinforcing so giving it some time but not at all times reinforcement works very well in trying to teach the child self-care skills brushing the child hates brushing they create a fuss all the time when you call them to brush their teeth whether in the morning or in the night what to do about it forward and backward chaining what does that mean try to let the child start the activity so the first step is they try to bring the brush so you can give them okay can you see from this glass or this container which one is your brush so they select it or they can select the type of brush that they want to use. Maybe some cartoon character on that, that they like. So once they started, that was the first step they took. Okay, would you like to apply paste on it? If they do not want to do that, you do it for them and then you can engage with them. Make, making sounds alongside like that or creating a fun way where you are also doing the activity with them so that they know this is not an individual thing, but something that everybody does together. Then they can earn a star at the end of it for either starting or finishing the activity. And then you can keep on increasing the number of steps that they do and reducing your number of steps in the activity. All of this that we discussed till now was positive reinforcement, rewards, rewards. What about negative reinforcement A negative reward system telling them I am not too happy today or I got sad today because you did not finish your work and I won't be happy if the teacher gets upset with you tomorrow 
or the child did tell you that you know I got scolded because my work was not complete so you tell them you know I also feel sad about it so you might lose a star because of this or we might have to cut down on your outdoor time today because we have to do so much work today we have to complete all the work so this gives the child motivation that if I do my work on time next day I will get my playground time or my outing time or that extra play time that I get every day let me know if this was an informative video for you please like it subscribe to the channel for more videos related to child development and autism awareness ring the bell icon for notifications whenever my videos are out and we'll meet again soon bye